What's up YouTube? This is Black Onyx 488 coming at you. Um, this is a bit of an update about my awesome aquaponic garden. I have a little confession. It has not been so awesome. Um, everything in my aquaponic garden died except one fish. All the plants, everything just died, died, died. Everything dies. So, um, and it's been months since I've been able to even address the issue. However, I found a hydroponic store um, that's near me and I went down and talked to the guy and he said of course that I have to get my pH levels now I know that from watching a lot of YouTube videos but I didn't quite understand how you get them down if you have high pH levels now what that gentleman suggested was that I use lemon juice to bring down my um, pH levels and if I needed to raise them use baking soda but he said to really try not to do that and so um, I did a little test where I, I, didn't, I didn't put lemon juice in my water, but I just used some simply, uh, lim simply I forgot what it's called, uh, simple lemonade uh, brand. Anyway, on a test and it did work, it brought down the levels, but I didn't want to, I wanted to use like natural limes or something for the actual um, thing. But anyway, I was looking online tonight and found out that aloe vera juice is also great at lowering the pH levels um, naturally and apparently it makes the fish happy they live a stress-free life but um, it's not as um, quick as putting in lemon juice so it takes a lot more however um, this right here is a gallon of um, a aloe vera juice that I get from Trader Joe's I always pull the label off but um, anyway I promise this is aloe vera juice I get it from Trader Joe's for about seven bucks for the gallon okay that's almost cheaper than gas all right, so um, <clears throat> here we go. This is the high range test solution, and you see it says to add five drops. This is my tap water, okay? So we're going in one, two, three, four, five. All right, and um, this tube right here is my aquarium water. And since I've got the pH down, I don't need the high stuff, I'm just using the regular. And it says to add three drops. So one, two, three. Alrighty. I'm going to put the top on it. Pull it out. Shake it up. Okay. Now I don't know what's going on tonight because normally my tap water tested a bright neon purple. Like it's scary how bright it is. So right now it's testing. I would say at about 7, 8. Actually it's looking at like 7.4. I don't know what's going on tonight because any other day of the week I test this. It's Trust me. It's it's ridiculous how bright the purple is. Alrighty, so now this is my fish tank. Now this uh, is, has already been through a cycle in the aquarium, aquarium. So I don't know if that's going to change it. Because I had gotten it to write it about 7. So now, let's see. It's at 7.6. That kind of sucks. So I'm going to... Um, I don't know if that change happened because it went through a, a water cycle or what because I I've just been working on this all evening and I'm really tired now but I'm gonna add one more cup of aloe vera juice and see if that um, changes it one last time so anyway but it did bring the levels down because they were I promise you they were at a bright purple it was ridiculous so it's good that it's it's in the blue now. That actually makes me a little happy. Alrighty. Talk to you later. Bye.